and while my mother was still very lucid and interviewed my mum, I thought, oh, what's this all about? Yeah. I never realised, he never told me he was actually writing a book. And then after, three weeks before he passed away, he gave the manuscript to Finlay MacDonald at Random House. Lovely man, bless him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah. Mm -hmm. But to read it after the fact, uh, posthumously for, you know, for me to read it after David passed was extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. um, there were a lot of salt water running through the bookshop on yeah, the, 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 sure. the, the week that I read that manuscript. Yeah. yeah. Did you get a lot of people who wanted to buy it from the bookshop? Yes, yes, but I couldn't yeah. do that because um, I deal on second-hand books and I couldn't do the uh, all return stuff to a, uh, uh, you know, just, mm. the, just the logistics of it. And at that, it, mm. it actually, we. Finlay took me around to a few places in North Island to, we did the Readers and Writers Festival with Harry, we did the Going West Festival, um, and then I went with Finlay to Wellington and Masterton to promote the book, which is kind of beautiful for me. I never done a book launch as such, a literary thing, mm. um, but it was kind of an ass kick that Davy wasn't there to do it because he would have loved it. He just would have been in his elephant <laughs> uh, element. Um, yeah, he just would have loved that shit. Mm, yeah. Mm.